morning. Good morning, Sheridan. How was your farewell dinner with Luis last night? Farewell? Oh, I'm surprised you haven't heard. Heard what? Well, if your spies have been doing their job, they'd have told you by now. Told them what? Julian offered a large sum of money to the Harmony Police Department to send one uniformed police officer, specifically Luis, to the FBI Training Institute in Virginia. It would help Luis make detective, something he wants very much. Well, he's a very dedicated law officer. I felt he deserved a break. No. You felt he needed to be sent out of town so he'd forget his investigation on his father's disappearance and forget me. You offered him a bribe. Did he take it? No. He turned it down. He what? He's not taking it, Julian. This is outrageous. This is preposterous. Well, please, Julian. If you're going to have a heart attack, wait till after I've left on my ski trip. <coughs> <laughs> I know why he turned it down. Luis isn't being noble. He's holding out for a better deal. Oh, that is not true. Of course it's true. I know these people. Would you get it through your thick head, Julian? You and father have finally met a man who can't be bought off. I know what you're up to, and so does Luis, and it won't work. Sounds as if you've grown quite fond of him, Sheridan. I have, Ivy. He's a decent man. I haven't met anyone like him. He doesn't give a damn about the crane money or power. Then you're a lucky woman. I am lucky. Because I almost caved in when Father and Julian tried to pressure me to stop seeing Luis. Last night was going to be our first and last date. You are a fool if you continue to see that man. I would be a fool not to see him again. Your sneaky, rotten, scheming bribe made me realize there was much more to Luis than I thought. It's obviously a bribe, Julian. Just it, admit it. It was not a bribe. Father and I were merely trying to thank the fellow for saving your life. Thank him? Mm -hmm. You and Father have never said thank you to anyone for anything. It was a scheme to keep Luis and me apart. All right. I admit it. I knew it. And I'm not ashamed of it. Father and I were trying to protect you, to keep you from being hurt again. <laughs> right. Oh, wake up, Sheridan. Luis is no different from any of the other men who've used you. Believe me, everyone has his price. We just have not discovered what Luis's price is yet. All right. Just don't come crawling to me after he's taken the money and run and left you alone and wounded again. Hello, Ivy. Shouldn't you be leaving on your ski trip? Yes. I'm on my way. I get the feeling my ice queen is up to more than just skiing. Julian Crane. Julian. Oh, father. <laughs> I assume you heard. Luis turned down the offer to train with the FBI. Of course I've heard. You're proving your incompetence on a daily basis, Julian. Father, it was a foolproof plan. Luis is ambitious. He needs the money a promotion to detective would provide. Foolproof? It was a stupid bribe, and Luis saw right through it. No doubt Sheridan is more attached to him than ever. I've done everything I can to convince her that Luis will just use her like all the others. And she remains unconvinced. You're the fool, Julian. You have no idea how to deal with people. Thank God for Ethan. 
He's the hope for the Crane family's future, and thank God he's more like me than you. Father, I'm trying to be what you... Well, you're too late. You've made mistake after mistake. From now on, I will deal with Luis personally. I know exactly how to keep him and Sheridan apart. What are you going to do? Make Luis disappear, just as you made his father, Martin Fitzgerald, disappear? You're going to do worse. <laughs> 